Have you ever wondered how the ocean will look like without water? Being able to remove this blue-green tint of the underwater pictures and still have the true colors of a coral reef? Well, using computer vision and machine learning algorithms, researchers from the University of Haifa were able to accomplish exactly that. Let's see how this works. This is What's AI and I share artificial intelligence news every week. If you are new to the channel and want to stay up to date, please consider subscribing to not miss any further news. Underwater photography is a challenging task. It requires expensive cameras, lights, all sorts of equipments and a lot of skills. Even then, there is still a blue-green-ish tint from the water covering the objects or animals in any pictures or video you will take. Fortunately for all the underwater enthusiasts, researchers from the University of Haifa were able to remove the water from these pictures and videos by using computer vision and machine learning algorithms. They call their new algorithm see-through. It takes an image from underwater with the same blue-green tint and makes it look like it was photographed through the air instead of water. It doesn't only remove the color filter from the water, it also removes the visual distortion caused from the light travels underwater to accurately correct both the colors and physical aspects of the images. Let's dive a little deeper for all the machine learning enthusiasts that are wondering how this algorithm works. As I said, it takes an underwater image as input. But you don't even need an expensive set of lights anymore since it takes a raw image or even video with natural lighting. Normally, this was a big issue that is completely solved by this algorithm. Objects that are far away from the light source wouldn't get caught clearly by the camera. They now appear as clear as the objects closer to the lens if the distance is specified. Indeed, it takes raw RGBD images, where the D stands for the distance or depth map between the camera and the object we want to have a clear view. This depth map is later used with the raw image to reveal the original colors of the image by calculating the attenuation of each wavelength of the light. They've done that by placing objects of known size in the scene at various ranges, analyzing the black scatter effects and reconstructing them using the known scenes and formation. Then, it uses an estimate of the spatial varying illuminant calculated in the training phase of the model to obtain the underwater range-dependent attenuation coefficient. But this is just half the work that needs to be done to have colors that matches an image that was taken at sea surface. It also needs to estimate the backscatter using the dark pixels and their known range information. The backscatter is the reflection of light waves bouncing on particles in the water and going into the camera, considering the underwater environment deflecting them from their original direction. It eliminates these water particles and can frequently obstruct the object. To find this backscatter value and reverse it, they start by partitioning the range map into 10 clusters covering all the possible values of Z, estimated previously. Then, using the captured image and known distance of the object, they find the perfect Z correlation. Following that, they are able to do the same process across the whole image, estimating the backscatter from the information previously computed. There is still one step left to explain, which is how they are able to find the wideband attenuation and backscatter coefficients of the RGB image, governing both the backscatter value and the information about the scene. This is a complex calculation explained in details in the paper, but it is mainly done using the spectral response of the camera and the optical water type which they measured previously using their trained model. Finally, using their known range map of Z estimated previously, they can refine these coefficients to obey the given Z and improve the final results. Now let's watch some more results they've got. This is very beneficial for coral biologists and other experts of the field since this work really aims to obtain the true colors compared to the current enhanced version you can find using Photoshop.
Of course, this was just a simple overview of this new paper. I strongly recommend to read the paper linked in the description for more information. Please leave a like if you went this far in the video. And since there are over 90% of you guys watching that are not subscribed yet, consider subscribing to the channel to not miss any further news clearly explained. If you would like to start or improve with machine learning, I've linked all the best online courses in a repertory in the description. Thank you for watching.